Hi all folks, this is Max from Nexus Hacks. Uh, NexusSHacks.com. Um, so I've got another ROM review of the uh, Paranoid Android ROM, which I actually have been using for my Galaxy Note um, and Galaxy S2 and Galaxy Nexus. Um, this is a really great ROM. It comes with um, what is it? Trebuchet launcher and Nova launcher. Um, you can also install. Um, the other launcher. But the key feature of this ROM is the paranoia, paranoid Android settings. Um, you can get really paranoid and go to Android paranoid settings and you can enable this uh, hybrid settings. Um, enable hybrid mode. And what this will do is um, hit allow for a super user. It allows you to uh, run it in hybrid mode um, and also you can run it, actually run it as a phone and run tablet apps or run it as a tablet mode and run uh, phone apps so it's it's a very versatile um, versatile machine I guess uh, so, so list of apps you can go to list of apps here oops um, oops all here and you can actually go to um, each of your apps and set the DPI uh, what you don't if you don't know what DPI is basically that's dots per inch I think yeah um, so by changing this density right now it's set at 160 um, which is I think tablet mode so let's go actually launch my Gmail real quick here and what let's see what it looks like so it, it looks like a regular regular uh, phone mode um, let's go switch and oops let's go switch it I did too fast here. And uh, let's change the density um, to uh, mid, high, uh, low. Stock tablet, stock value tablet. Well, that's what it is at. Let's see. Um, let's try stock value phone. Oh, you know what? Just do tablet. And uh, save. Alright. And let me open up. Gmail again, and we should get the tablet mode now. Oops. Try um, closing the Gmail first, and then do it. There we go. So I've got tablet mode, um, so which is really cool, and you can switch it back in settings. And the best part about this is that you can actually switch um, per app doesn't change um, some of the other hy hybrid ROMs out there doesn't let you do that but um, the latest version of the Paranoia Android ROM allows you to do that and also there's you, you do see a little bit of lag here um, but you can always overclock it a little bit under performance I've got matrix kernel running here um, if you want overclocking definitely flash a matrix kernel and uh, let's set max maximum I'm gonna just set it 1.2 here and uh, I like Interactive X. All right. And that should make it a little bit faster. Um, but really the highlight of this um, ROM is that you get benefits of CM9 plus all that, all that great stuff that you can play with Paranoid Android here. And also um, you can totally enable tablet mode if you want to. Um, you'll have to reboot it. But I'll also show you, um, you know, the tablet mode uh, with the boot animation also while it's rebooting, uh, which is really cool. So I, I'm thinking this is going to be, you know, it's it's a hot ROM right now. Everyone's using Paranoid Android. <laughs> Everyone getting paranoid, paranoid on Android, and high on Android. Paranoid, paranoid, <laughs> love it, you know. Um, so there you go. That's the boot animation, and I've reviewed this ROM a bunch of times on other phones. Um, now it's available for Nexus S with all those DPI per app feature, which allows you to run, you know, and they should actually have this for all custom ROMs, or even like just, you know, they should have it. So now you get the tablet mode, as you can see here, you got the uh, tablet bar here, and also you can probably go sideways. Can you go sideways? Well, I think you have to enable it. Um, but there you go. So you got the tablet mode here. Oops. There. 
and you can access settings if you want like that. Um, turn off Wi-Fi, just like an Android tablet. Um, and you'll also, you can always switch back and, uh, you know, a lot of cool stuff. Um, but I'm not going to go into all the details. I'll let you play with it. That's just the tip of the iceberg, and you'll have a lot of fun just with this ROM, playing with it all day, all night long. Um, you know, running maybe like Netflix, you want to run um, tablet mode to see in landscape and so you can see more stuff. Um, or, you know, you can even mess with the launcher and stuff and put more apps uh, fit into the screen. Um, the ideas are, you know, endless. So give it a go. If you haven't, um, definitely right now it's the time to flash this ROM because it's it's the one of the newer versions that has been uh you know a lot of bugs have been fixed um this tablet mode thing is hybrid thing is working like flawless i when i first tried it we didn't have that app per uh, dpi but now it's you know it's freaking awesome so definitely go try it it's available for both nexus s and nexus s 4g i'll have the files there um just uh do a wipe install the rom and then install the the uh hybrid google apps that's provided there it works for nexus s and nexus s 4g if you don't flash the google apps you're not going to get gmail or play store and don't you know leave comments that <laughs> it doesn't work and it just makes um uh my life harder when i have to get back to you with the same message that you have to install google apps so install it uh and if you have a nexus s or nexus s 4g don't forget to sign up for my email list at nexus s uh, hacks.com we update you once a week uh, with one of the week tips hacks and more sometimes and uh, it's great for you to get in contact with me and uh, if you're on YouTube please hit that like button for me and uh, subscribe button up here if you have thanks a lot and use that share button to share with your friends on share this with your friends on Twitter Facebook or Google Plus and uh, stay high on Android folks and uh, um, don't be an itard yeah